boxing is one thing, but weight wise is a big thing in MMA. Like, are you confident right now? Because just you outweigh him so much. Like you, let's say Conor McGregor healthy, you would just beat the piss out of Conor McGregor. Cause, Me? Because you outweigh him by so many pounds. Yeah, but I also fought professional at a high level. But that's what I'm saying. But you haven't fought at in a in a few years. It doesn't matter. I'm a black belt in jiu jitsu. I take him down and choke him out. Ooh, <laughs> who's horny? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. You got know, two hours of sleep? Yeah. What happened, hon? Papa couldn't sleep. Why? A lot of anxiety with this studio. Don't worry about under, this. Un, under the crunch time right now. Gotta well, let me done. tell you this, dude. You want the, you want the uh, studio you. to go bye-bye? We can make the studio go bye-bye. No, no, no. Lil like Arsonist. Don't, oh. Want me to set it on fire? Nope, please don't. Me and Pip know a couple guys. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Pip looks like he knows his way around a match. Pimp knows his way around a match, dude. Yeah, Pimp is... Uh, Pimps, yeah, man. He wears corduroy pants. It, doesn't, it was 130 degrees in the valley yesterday. Those corduroys were on. Ready to go. You, yeah, you don't look like a short guy. No. No, you're, he's got you're not getting out the calves. No, I'll take the shorts. I'll take them. Really? Once in a while. You ever put a sock on one of the hands? Like mankind? <laughs> no. <laughs> you ever put a dirty sock on and fucking <laughs> shove in people's mouths? God. That's assault these days, bro. That is assault. That is assault. Homeless pimp is, um, yeah, he's my guy. He, uh, When I first met him, I thought he was like genuinely retarded. And just because of like the clothes he was wearing and all that and his glasses. Yeah, his and, and I thought it was like, I thought like Giannis like brought like a Make-A-Wish guy. And I was like, I like, was like, like you won a contest, yeah, and like, sit in in the studio, you know, because you know, I thought like, oh, that's what it is. But then, but then when I got to meet him, I was like, oh no, dude, like this guy's like legitimately real, and he's your guy, guy now. No, no, pimp that's is your man. No, no, pimp is my legitimate. Like I will protect homeless pimp at all costs. Like I just call them retarded, but I will apologize to him profusely when we get in the car. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, like. I will. I will say that was just a bit. I'm sorry. Like, I'm what so do I need sorry. to do to make this better? And he's gonna say two grand. Yeah, dude, two grand. This all better be on the podcast, by the oh, way. It right? is. This, yeah, this we're shit. always recording. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because, dude, look at fucking Nick. Dude, Nick's the only guy I've ever met that's not retarded, but also wears Velcro sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> are those Velcro? <laughs> yeah, dude. He's oh got. Vel- God, are. How are you allowed, dude? How do you? Goddamn peanut butter Falcon. Why you got? <laughs> why do you got Velcro on? Dude, because my girl is sick of my shoes. <laughs> dude, every really, Brendan. From now on, every time you post your kicks of the day, I need Nick to post his <laughs> kicks of the day. I need to see what pieces of shit he has on his feet. <laughs> your girl, your girl bought you Velcro just because she was sick of you uh, having your shoes untied. Yeah, yeah. Why are they always untied? What are you four? I don't know. I don't know, but it was a problem when I was a child too, and my grandma got me Velcro shoes, and now my girlfriend did it for just, me. Just staying dude. on the Velcro, and I fucking love them. You know what, man? <laughs> it fits the show though, dude, because you know half of Theo's fans wear Velcro shoes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it, fits the show. it fits the show perfectly. <laughs> do you guys have to tie your shoes in the morning? Or do you just slip into your shoes? Because if you're tying your shoes, I'm saving time. You guys are idiots. You are. I yeah, usually sure. I <laughs> usually slip into my shoe, but I always like to buy a bigger shoe like i'm actually a size 11 foot i got a little i got a little bit of a smaller foot for man but i go 12 and a half i just started wearing a size 14 i've been a 13 since high school yeah i just started doing 14 and you're because I like the, a little wiggle room well uh, i have i have wide well feet. no your foot is getting bigger because you're on steroids <laughs> <laughs> and dude because that chain was a little looser yesterday dude daddy's neck's getting a little thick <laughs> that's gonna be it's good just watch the progression of the podcast it just gets tighter and tighter and tighter <laughs> before it just comes off <laughs> you're like guys oh, what can you stick <laughs> yeah dude no man so uh How, how'd your filming go for your tv show it, the filming your show hollywood now bro show hollywood i'm about to do access hollywood mario lopez in about an hour watch that it's coming out i'm gonna try to tickle mario lopez's balls or do something like cancelable no, but nobody's hollywood. gonna watch it on tv but the, the clip would be cool it'll be it, hopefully it goes viral Tell uh, me, can beat him in a boxing match. That'll trigger him. I will, I'm, and I'm going to tell him what you said. I'm going to tell him because <laughs> yesterday on you came on my show, the Chrissy Chaos Podcast, Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, you you came on my podcast and you said you met Mario Lopez once and you talked to him about some stuff. Yep, and so, he, he wouldn't drop the whole Hollywood thing. He's been in Hollywood yeah. so long he can't yeah. drop the. Hey, I'm Mario Lopez. How you doing? I'm like, dude, just talk like a normal. Chin was there. I thought we were gonna get kicked out. I literally thought we were gonna get kicked out. You were doing Access Hollywood. Uh, well, uh, we, f- we filmed our show at his studio. <clears throat> he was on fire. Or the- uh, blow the bell. Yeah, he was on below the bell. But at his studio. At his we studio. went to his. He would only do it if we went to his studio. So we're like, all right. So we drive down to Universal. We right. do it there. Yeah, Chin was running all the audio and cameras. And me and him, it got pretty heated. Huh? Yeah, I thought for sure. I'm not even joking. I thought we were gonna get kicked out because they got really heated about the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather uh, boxing match. Hit- 
you, you th- did you think Mario Lopez was like was he gonna get was there a point where you think this could get violent? Never. Right. No, I would slap AC yeah. Slater. <laughs> but yeah. kicked out, yeah. Could you imagine beating the shit out of AC Slater? Mm-mm. How funny would that be? If you just, I mean, kick the shit out, or if he caught you with, you know, a roundhouse kick Never. and knocked you out. Never. Yeah, but that would be. I would whoop his ass and keep yelling out, <laughs> Zach Morris, for no reason. <laughs> just keep screaming. Yeah. Dude, I'm, if that ever, if that ever happened. But I'm telling you, it went bad because when he went to sit down, I said, oh, you're not going to sit backwards like AC Slater? And it triggered him. <laughs> and then it didn't go well after that. He got angry about that. Yeah, I, I don't think he likes those So if I wanna... Although he did the reboot, which fucking sucked. Sucked, right? Is he a little baby guy, too? He look, Is he a small, petite man? Small, hand, you know, handsome dude. Oh, 100%. Handsome, handsome kid. Feller. A lot of makeup on, though. Yeah? Even for the podcast. Interesting. Interesting. I interesting. look like a fuck. You know, I look like a, a freaking weathered worm next to him. I'm excited to do it, you know? I mean, that's what uh, having a TV show does, is at least it gets you on this type of press. But the actual filming of the show blows, dude. Fi- I'm just building. Fi- like, he's had a good career, though. I'm not hating on Mario him. Lopez? Yeah, he's crushing it. I mean, if you want to be that guy. 100%. Like, I'm basically the Mario Lopez of Showtime. Like, they use me like I'm, I'm him. Yeah. 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 100%. Yeah. Mario Lopez of Showtime. Yeah. Which is a good credit. I mean, that's where you're doing the AT&T Bud Light Lime Marita Center. Yeah. Uh, not, but he's doing the actual AT&T Center. Uh, yeah. 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 But hey, I'm not doing anything. I don't even have AT and T. I have Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this pussy? Uh, <laughs> this this could be our absolutely electric spokesperson. Let's hear what he has to say. Hey, Cats Nation. Hey, Brendan. Hey, Theo. Hey, Neck and Chin. I'm Tate Mullenberg. I play basketball at the University of Tampa. I'm originally from Iowa. I'm a small forward. With this new name and image likeness, you can yep. now get sponsored or create your own brand. And I chose King and the Sting because it's my favorite podcast. And with my two favorite comedians, Brendan and Theo, I think I'd be a good athlete because I do have a mullet. It's nice. grown in. And also, I have the American flag sunburned into my back. Not all people man. have that. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Welcome back. No, you made it better. <laughs> Just put on the HDMI. Oh, here we go. Now we're back in action. Lopez. Lopez sure bodied up. up. This guy, Let me just th- see the end, Nick. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the end because I need to see if he does something. Because right now it just sounds like someone who has a traumatic brain injury trying to get through <laughs> a sentence. So, Poor guy. What's, what's <laughs> tough is to, to be the first sponsored athlete and you're, you're a white forward in Division <laughs> One. Is yeah, University of Tampa even Division One? Yeah. It is Division One. Oh, yeah. Yep. We sure? I'll look it up. Yeah, make sure well, Tampa's well, Division One. Is. Okay. Because they're football team. And also... I have the American flag sunburned into my back. <laughs> oh, I love Not this kid again. I also like gang, this gang, kid. Buzz, buzz. I love him, dude. I wanted to see a little action, though. I want to see you play him. He's got some stuff for us. I got some more videos for him. Let me see. Let me see. Let me check his jumper. Let me yeah, see if let... he can boof it. He's got to be. Because if you're going to be a white guy with a mullet, you got to be able to either you got to have a dope three or you got to be, be able the to token, dunk on somebody. You got to be the token white guy that shoots in the corner. Yeah, when, you can't. I don't, want, I don't want to sponsor a guy that's like taking charges and doing the little things. No. Like let's see what let's see if he's got skill skill. Yeah, I don't want to sponsor guy who just plays defense. Oh, is this him? Hey! That's, I mean, that's, that was a layup. That was a layup. That was dude. a layup. That wasn't a, let's try it again. Let's <laughs> let me see that again because I was like, oh, if this guy windmills it. Yeah, I thought he's about but, to fucking Harold Miner this thing. Hey! That's a layup. Dude. That's a go, layup. Chief. That's a that's a layup. That's. Listen, I can't speak for Theo, but if because I'm sitting in his place today. No, you have the power of attorney today for Theo. Okay, then I say I say let's sponsor him. And what, I, what's, I, what's the sponsor include? Uh, we'll just send him some cats merch, and he can rep us down in Tampa. But I love the idea of cats athletes. Barstool is getting like every hot college athlete, so we have guys like uh, we're gonna have the guys. Yeah, yeah. We had a lacrosse player reach out to me, DM on Instagram. Okay, that was serious. Now, so uh, see that see was that one. Watch this one. This is an actual for real windmills. Is that this was the same real, kid? Yes, same, same yeah, kid. This is the same kid. Okay, so now this kid, now he's proven that he can actually windmill dunk a basketball. Um, granted, it's you know, it's in like you know, it's just a little alley oop, not in a game or anything. But I would feel comfortable representing a kid. Ooh, who could look do at a, that. Who wants some? He's cute. <laughs> He's cute. He does look. Yeah. Do we know his name? Let's look at his stats. He, he, is Muhlenberg or is something? He, is he a starter? <clears throat> yeah. He can't be coming off the bench, Papa. He Listen. Did, they, he transferred from a JUCO school, and last year they only played a couple games at Tampa. 
Look, did I'm, he go off though? Look, Does he have a statue at the university like my boy Chrissy D here? Mm-hmm. Is he in the Division Three Hall of Fame? What's up? Let me ask you this. Let, let me say this. I'm I'm cool with sponsoring him. I am for our first sponsor. But if we're going to continue to do this, we're going to need some black guys. It can't be all white kids with mullets. If we're going to want to put a good team out there, you're going to need to get some African-Americans out there yeah. to kind of want to be sponsored by us as well. Because Facts. he's not going to cut it. Only, I don't want to be that. The, the whole idea of, oh, we got a team of white guys. Uh, let's see if they can win. It's nice on paper, but they lose big a lot. Yes. So we, we're winners here. So we need some black guys and to be on our best. Can you name game. an all white team? Not really these days. No, dude. Not in I, Division One. No, man. The, you know the the old, the last great all white team was the one that Hitler put out. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever hear about Grinnell in Iowa? Grinnell, dude. They they score like 160 points a game. They just bomb threes. Do you have somebody from Grinnell wanted to be sponsored? Uh, no, but they're all white. They're what, all white, what, what but division? they lose a lot though. Yeah. Division three. Division three. But they are a team that I've been watching since I'm a kid because they score like 160 points a game. The, the but leading, they still lose. They lose all the time because they play absolutely no fucking defense. It's they're, like an all star game. No, but their coach's philosophy because it's the one coach. His philosophy is out shoot your opponent. Don't he doesn't even teach defense. He's like we will all be three. You have to be a fucking sniper to play for this team. Well, he should probably be fired, especially if they're oh, yeah. not winning games. They do not win. But yeah, Monmouth at Grinnell. 140. Three, but they lo oh they won this one. But still, if you gave up 125 points, dude, you're scoring 143 at D three. Yeah, dude, it's not bad. They just literally Here, jacked dude, threes. Dude, right away, red flag. Everybody's white on the court. <laughs> uh, white. Yeah, except for the tall black fella. I would like, yeah, if oh no, dude. Anytime Grinnell plays a real basketball team, and when I mean a real basketball team, I mean three or four or Even mostly two. African Americans. Even two, they lose by a hundred. Yeah, like yeah. they lose by a hundred. Because they, they, it's all the token Teams white Teams have guys. scored 200 points on them before, but Holy they've scored shit. 130, but they've lost, they've they've given up to it because, I mean, it's just black guys. 84 points and a half. Dude, you have to see. And when they get dunked on, these guys get fucking teabagged <laughs> by, the, by, like, actual athletes. It's hilarious. It's hot out here, Daddy. Oh, put a needle in your arm, huh? Or get a liquid IV. Yeah, when it's a, when it hits that one ten out here in the valley, dog. Uh, shooting up won't do anything for you, but drinking up will. With get, liquid IV, man. Get that sipper, baby. One stick of liquid IV. That watermelon for the summer? Oh, dude. 16 ounces of water. It hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Who's drinking water alone? Is it the 1800s? Come on, bro. Not only that, but the product tastes great with flavors like watermelon, my, strawberry, and lemon. My lemon, favorite, man. Lemon. Contains contains five essential vitamins, oh, more God. vitamin C than an orange, oh. as much potassium as a banana. Ooh. It's healthier than all those sugary oh, drinks. You don't need me. that, man. You don't need that. Oh. Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. You got to be a member, though. I, I have a friend who can get you in. Or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com. Use the code KATS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code CATS at liquidiv.com. Let's go. Look, man, a lot of things you try to mail something, you can't even mail it. I went to the mail place the other day. They told me to come back next week. Can't have that, man. People are waiting for their packages. Maybe it's this past weekend merch. Whatever it is, you got to get it out. You got to trust them, man. That's why ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. That's it. That's right. ShipStation is the way to do it. No matter how you sell your goods, if you have a good and you want to get it to your customer, get it to somebody. Shopify, Xe, your own website. ShipStation funnels all your orders in one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even your freaking cell phone. You could do it. You can phone. do it on my cell phone. That's right. Just use the offer code KATS to get a 60 day free trial. That's two free months to ship. Ship your face off, dude. Mail your face to your fat friend. Yeah. Just go to shipstation.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage. Type in cats. That's shipstation.com. Enter the offer code KATS. Make ship happen. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they make the Division Three like t you know finals. Should once we start in a while. sponsoring WNBA players? They need money. Babe, do you realize that W like the high? I googled this the other day. The highest paid player in the WNBA it's like four hundred k. No, they, uh, I saw they make like a hundred thousand dollars a year. That's the market value, though. We, what do you want us to do? We got yeah, a business but, to run. So what do you think? That, I mean, do they have like what do they do? Do they have OnlyFans in the off season? 
100 what a w- K, but they're not like well if you're la spark you're fucked with 100k in la but, but i guess if you're in like iowa if you're playing for the indiana fever yeah you're balling. yeah i like that the Tam- Indi- tampa bay is uh d2 T- d2 okay. okay listen division two he, i like this kid he's got a fun white mullet he's he can dunk i like him as a first sponsor athlete i again as the first guy to sign on cats now that we're saying first team all cats yeah now that we're saying though that this is what we're doing here at the cat show i'd like to really get some actual you know black athletes yes because i just want to be unless we're playing lacrosse and we're gonna stick with white then we want to go white but yeah i i he was the first one i love that he he went for it i think we should say yes but yeah send in more highlight reels yes uh more athletes let's see what you got yeah. Why and why? What you're gonna do for the cats brand to push us forward? Yeah, these kids yeah. want hard cash, now, like, son. Who who's gonna get the tattoo? Here's the thing: we sponsor an MMA fighter. He gets a tattoo on his back. What if like. now if you play for Team Cats? If you're a basketball player playing for Team Cats, are you gonna sponsor them with Velcro sneakers? What are they gonna What are they gonna hit the hardwood? Those kids. Those kids need cash, dog. They need cash, right? Yeah, they gotta buy. They gotta buy food for after the game and shit. Drinks for their friends. So wait, so this whole college athlete thing means like. Like, let's take a Zion Williamson type. Let's let's go. Let's say he was coming into Duke, Duke this year. Freshman. So he would be making. He could be like Nike would give him a million dot, like millions of dollars to play. Or it's ha- all, it's or only it endorsement. Cap? No, there's no cap. It's only endorsement. So, but they can't use the name and likeness of the school. So he can't have a picture of him in a Duke jersey holding a Gatorade. It'd just be a picture of him in like normal clothes. But I'm saying you Gatorade use... could give him twenty five million dollars yep. for that. So that so that's what I'm saying. So we're entering a phase now where the college athletes, the freshmen and sophomores who are absolute studs, let's t- stay with basketball, going to the NBA, are going to be multimillionaires at yeah. nineteen, twenty years old. They are already though. We this has been going on for the longest. They're just not going to be fucking canceled over it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you're saying like, Zion they'll... Williamson year one and two already paid. had millions of oh, dollars. He got paid. It was sure. all like just like, illegal. Hundred so. yeah. percent. Okay. I wasn't but now sure. it's legal. Now it's just out in the open. But now it's like that that girl from LSU, the gymnast, she's going to make the most money. Like, she's this hot girl. She has, like, a million followers on Instagram and TikTok. Like, she'll make the most money. Oh, well, now I know, like, at least, like, with recruiting out of high school, like, now all of the basketball players who get recruited out of high school, they're all, like, have huge followings on social media. If you don't have a big social media, you, they, you don't get looked at. It's the same, like, in entertainment. Like, you have to have a social media presence. Same with stand up. Same with stand up. Our guy Taylor, uh, yeah, he doesn't have much of a social media presence. He has seven posts on Instagram and he's on private. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> uh, what but, but here's something to think about, Chrissy D. So we, we both have kids. So let's say your kid uh, is, uh, you, you have a boy or just girls? Two girls, two girls and a stepson. Okay. So we'll, we'll keep it with your blood related one. So yes. uh, your two girls. So let's say your oldest. Has she's a baller, baller okay. in volleyball or where the fuck she's playing. Okay, and she has Jesus Christ, and she has all these offers. Is this the LSU girl? Yep, yummy, yummy. She's gonna get paid. Yes. So she has all these offers from schools, right? Mm-hmm. Texas, Florida, mm-hmm. California, freaking LSU, USC, UCLA, and and she's gonna get. She's a looker, right? Is she eighteen? Yeah. Yeah, she's she's eighteen. Yeah. Okay. So so she's gonna go to to one of these schools and let's say Gatorade or whoever offer a million dollars. She goes to school at USC. The states didn't take half of that. Mm-hmm. She goes to school in Florida or Texas. The the state's not gonna touch it. You gotta pay federal, but not state taxes. Right. So most of the recruits are gonna end up going to Texas, Arizona, Florida because they're not they don't want half their shit to go away. So you're saying, what would I do? Would I? Would I? Wouldn't you tell your daughter, like, yo, keep all your money and go to fucking Florida? Oh, a hundred percent. Like, who, like who's going to go to SC or UCLA now or Stanford? No, dude. Yeah, no. 100%. Especially if you're like getting real big time endorsement money, you're not going there. No, yeah, dude. No, yeah. Give the state half your fucking money. A hundred percent, dude. I would tell her to go to school in Florida because that's probably where California? her mother will be in prison. True. <laughs> so yeah, <That's> California's <laughs> gonna be fucked, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, dude. California. There's no. There's, I mean, look, dude, I, I live in New York, so it's like we have the same tax issue, whatever. Your shirt says Miami, though. It does say, well, I do it for Mary Lopez. This is a Mary Lopez. I, this is a Mary Lopez inspired shirt. I, I and you want to talk because that you wear the built shirts, which I love. Yeah. I'm wearing the Roosevelt's Kunuflex. They're called. This is another one that hides the fat and the nipples. This is another one that fucking shrinks it in. It's oh, like yeah? wearing spanks on your chest. Yeah, I'm, I'm let you try it on. Yeah, face of a cop. 
Body of a lunch lady? 100% lunch lady ass, yes. I uh, I was doing well. Uh, the last time I came on King This Thing, I was really doing well, but it just went off the rails. Bubba. Why? No gym, no exercise, because it's fucking true TV shows r- mentally ruining my and life. And then you're around craft food services. I'm, at, I'm like all that, shit. dude. Yeah, I'm all that, and I'm just depressed. You're tired. Sitting. I, I'm like, oh, I'll get an in and out burger. I'll eat in a lettuce wrap, and then I eat in a lettuce wrap, and I eat three orders of animal fries. Yeah. But have a Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah. So, so in like, your hey, mind, least, you feel good. In my mind, I'm like, I'm just not eating bread. Yep. Ice cream don't have bread. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> so, um, yeah, but New York, man, you know, it's the same problem. But my thing is, is like all our friends who like move to like Austin or whatever, like they're, they're miserable. All, Besides they're, Rogan, they're miserable. So that's the thing is like Rogan could live in Iraq with his money. He'd have a fantastic He should live money. in Iraq with his money. Well, he could. And be, be, hey, everyone, it's great down here. It's like, yeah, but we don't have a billion dollars. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine Saddam Hussein on the, on the Joe Rogan show? Like, yeah, I can. Alive. It'd be awesome. <laughs> How great would that be? Just him talking to Hussein. I would love it, dude. He's like, everybody has to come to Austin. We're like, yeah, but we don't have a billion dollars to play along with. I know. I know. Well, that's the thing. But people move back because I get the other – and I love other parts of the country, but it's tough to live. If you're in entertainment or an athlete, you don't want to live in these other places. You want to live in the coastal cities. There's an energy here. There's an energy here that you have to kind of live around. Business will always be here. Yeah, you have to. So I get that there's no taxes in this state or that state, but then it's like, you know – I think it evens out, actually. How so? Because you're not going to get the same opportunities. Right. So then you're not going to make that income. So then the money you save by moving there, you, you, you don't have those opportunities anymore. So you're basically breaking even. Yeah. But you're not living in L.A. or New York. Yeah, that's true. I know. I know. I, I don't know. I guess these, I guess like, you know, my kid though. Yeah. Well, let's see. Hopefully she wants to go. I don't even, by the time she's 18, by the time both our kids are 18, dude, college may be an obsolete thing that people are like, why would we spend, why would we send our children to college? It does genuinely nothing for them. Agree. That's a very big possibility. Like in just 10, 12 years, it could be like, no, that's a dumb thing to do. Yeah. Agreed. It's out. What's this, Nick? Return of Blot My Aunt. Oh, oh shit. There we go. What up, King of the Stings? This is Noah from Nashville. I got to flaunt my aunt for you. This is Yetta. She is from North Carolina. She currently still lives with my grandmother in North Carolina in their childhood home. So she's really grown up a lot and she has a bunch of hobbies. She likes gardening. She likes cooking. She likes drunk texting me late at night asking for photos of my daughter and substitute teaching, I think. And uh, yeah, she is single right now, but Mm -hmm. her signature move is getting with like fat guys that have a lot of money and then rides they're going to propose. She fucking ends it, moves on to the next guy. So that's awesome as well. Um, she's super fucking funny. She used to make fun of me and call me fat when I was little and it wasn't traumatizing. Uh, and traumatizing. yeah, dude. Brendan, I saw you at Zany's in that last photo that you'll see here. You dress like my super gay dad does, which is fucking <laughs> sick. And I feel at home when I'm with you. <laughs> gang gang, but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that that Dude, is what I was is, wearing in Nashville. This kid is legitimately funny. Oh, yes, like that kid is legitimately no, funny. Kid. Yeah. You've seen him before? He's, he's setting videos before this kid? Uh, I no. don't think so. No. He's like legitimately like yeah, a funny, funny kid. Yeah, yeah. And, and he was like, let me know if this isn't good enough. I was like, this is the best no, thing you've ever He should do comedy, man. Like, he gets it. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, dude, that's hilarious. Your dad's dude. awesome, by oh, the way. Oh, dude, dude, that, yeah, like, that's like a, fr- a guy that I know. Um, His dad, like, left the family for, like, three four months and came back and fully like was trans like fully went to thailand and got and didn't say anything and and the mother had known but the father had asked the mother like please don't tell the children i like, want to tell them i want to tell them and he's and he said like literally dude it's a friend Left lance. dave came back as donna yeah he's a he's a stand-up comedian actually this kid lance and he barely oh, talks wow. about it he's he's talked about it on podcast i'm not saying anything that's private but he was like yeah i opened the door like i literally opened the door like with a baseball glove on because mom said dad was coming home from the airport and i opened it up and he was he looked like my mom like he had full tits hair like he had fully transitioned surgery and was like and he was like i want to play baseball with you and and his dad was like we could still play baseball and he was like no we can't yeah, he's like no i can't <laughs> i oh, can't man. play baseball with yeah. you anymore but i was like dude what a mind fuck I feel that like the be. dad. I feel like the dad went about it all wrong. Yeah, like give the kid a heads up, dude. Oh my god, dude! If my dad ever went trans, you have to see, dude. My father is one of. The, is there an uglier guy than my father? Uh, no. Yeah, right. And he's got that lazy eye. Like, oh, oh, he has a fucked up eye. Oh yeah. Can we pull up a picture? See if you can pull up a picture of Tony DiStefano just up. So I don't know if Tony. He might be because we put him on our podcast. So Did he, he might... get the fucked up eye from uh, prison? Dude, I don't even fucking know at all. 
I don't. I, I, is no. that is that him there? <laughs> no, 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 that's not him. Is um, your dad Hulk Hogan? Put on, put on, <laughs> go to my Instagram. Go to my Instagram. There's a, a there, there's a video of a, the thumbnail of him at least. Um, no, my dad. He's an ugly guy. Yeah, he's just one of those guys. Like, and it's one of those things where, like, my Looks mom, like Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, my mom was like, you know, she was like, as soon as. Like I was pregnant, she was like, "What am I like? What am I doing? Like, why did I have a child with this man?" Cool. She's like, First question would be, "Why did I have sex with this guy? How, how did I have sex with this guy? <laughs> Look at this guy! Ah, <laughs> uh, oh wow! Yeah, he. It was funny in this interview when my dad, like, pimp, just asked him. He goes, "So when did you know? Your, when did you think your son was probably gay?" And my dad just goes, seven. <laughs> just, he just immediately. He just like he didn't even take a beat. He goes, seven. He just looked. He lost. He lost a hundred dollars because he bet that I was going to be a girl. It's a true well, story. I, I'm pretty much a, that. I, I should have won because you are you, you are gayish. <laughs> I was born. I was born tucked. Your dad looked like a non. Was there ever a time Larry you were Bird. actually yes. worried he was gay? Chris was gay. Of course. What was I, the I, first age where you're like a uh... seven? <laughs> when I was seven and also, when I was seven, you thought he was ready. Also, to go. Yeah, yeah, ready to go. Dude. Seven. The only yeah, seven yeah, yeah. Did I have a no, me and my dad have a great it's relationship, true. dude. I love. Yeah, 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 my dad. That's him. The yeah. stapler. The stapler, dude. Yeah. Um, I, I was on Lipitor when I was seven. Yeah, dude. My, I've, I, the thing is, like, too, like with my family now, like with the this Chrissy Cas podcast, like, dude, my dad, Jasmine, fucking, um, uh, uh, TT Jerry, Jasmine's transgender uncle. Like, these are all like these people are like legitimately like ca characters, characters on my show, yeah. but I never put them on. I put TT Jerry on camera and my dad once in a while, but like Jasmine stays off. But I kind of like, I don't know. I kind of feel like with my podcast, I'm, aren't we, I kind of feel like we're doing like a mini like reality show. Well, I was just going to say, in a, a way, it's a TV show. It's a little bit of a reality show. And you've it, gone full Hollywood now and you're pitching a TV show and I, I appreciate it, but, uh, you could definitely do a TV show. Would you like to be involved? <laughs> I don't know why I'd play in that. What about I'd be like a guy that like delivers your fucking sandwiches or something? Dude, how funny is this? One of the one of the because yeah, well, I don't know if you'll see a picture of homeless pimp. Maybe you guys will put it up in the episode. But there was one of my friends. He's on camera. My friend. Oh, he's on camera. Okay, one of my friends. Uh, my friend Jill. Shout out Jill. She wanted to hook one of her friends up. <laughs> her friend was just recently single, and you and I had done like a little YouTube thing. And I had put like film by the homeless pimp, but she thought you were the homeless pimp. So she texted and she was like texting me and Jasmine. She was like, oh, I didn't know homeless pimp was a hottie like that. And I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I guess if, if you're, that's what you're into. I guess if you, yeah, if that's what, if that's what you're into, man. But uh, sure. I was like, uh, I was like, I'll, yeah, I'll make it happen. Yeah. And then she goes, oh, my God, that's fantastic. Whatever. And then I was like, literally is like going through the channels with her friends and got Jasmine, my girlfriend, like on the line. It was like and then Jasmine was like, yeah, I know he's cute. Like, he's definitely cute. But she was like, Danielle, because Danielle is like Danielle is, you know, like hot, you know, like really? girl, like, yeah, whatever. And she was like, she was like, no, she's like, listen, she was like, Jasmine was like, uh, let me be clear. Homeless to me is very cute. She's like, you're saying like drop dead gorgeous. And she's like, you know, he's very cute. She was like, and he's a nice guy. And she's like, I don't know what your friend wants to be involved. You know, whatever. I don't know. But then like literally like as the days go on, she's like, all right, we're going to set this thing up. She goes, let me just send me like a, like one more picture of him. Cause like, she's looked through all the pictures on his Instagram already. So I sent her a picture of homeless pimp from my Instagram. She goes, who's that? <laughs> And I was like, that's the homeless pimp. And she calls me dying laughing. She goes, I thought Brendan Schaub was the homeless pimp. I was like, bro, I would have paid any amount of money to fucking ha like, let me borrow your camera. Me film you show up to this date with this girl. And then just the fucking Get let reaction. Down. Could you imagine Brendan? Sh you think you're going to date with Brendan Schaub and it's the homeless pimp? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude, awesome. I'm telling that story, and I bet you women right here, right now, are like, I'd rather go out with the homeless pimp. I bet you there's women in this world that think you're oh, hotter than sure. Brendan Schaub for 100%. sure. 100%. Dude, <laughs> everyone has their type, man. He's cute. Look at behind his glass. He's a cute kid. Yeah. He's got a cute face. I mean, but but don't you struggle with your pronouns or some shit? Um, yeah, it depends on the day. No, so that could be tough. No, here's here's what's good about homeless so. pimp is he's 29 years old, so he's just on the cusp of like that, like you know, they them thing stuff. So he understands it all, but he also went to an all boy Catholic school and from Whitestone, Queens, it's one of those racist neighborhoods in the world. So he kind of has <laughs> yep. that tough guy upbringing, but with the understanding of the they them yes. gen. So he's yeah. perfect it's actually a good mix. because he does. He's not like that, but he gets it, and no. he knows when I go too far, he's like, hey, you got to pull that back. Is, is the Daniela girl Latin? Uh, no, she's, uh, like Asian. 
Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was the funniest thing. That's I mean, so I funny. still sometimes am up at night laughing about <laughs> if I would love to have been there and just Double watch. She's like, what the fuck? And I would have told, and I would have known, and I would have told you, dude, wear your best corduroys, <laughs> wear your fucking adult swim shirt, don't shower, get out there. <laughs> yeah, it was great, dude. Man, if you want to feel that heat, you want to feel that powder in your body and feel your butt get active, you know how to do it, baby. Green up, daddy. Green up, hose down. Today's That's program it. is brought to you by Athletic Greens, the most comprehensive daily nutritional beverage I've ever put in this mm. temple. Uh, temple, dude. This temples, thick temple. Temple's a university, dude, and that's more of a grade school. That's where uh, uh, okay. Bill Cosby went. <laughs> yeah, that's true, dude. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, look, I'll say, dude, Verde de Atletico. One tasty scoop of Verde de Atletico contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. I'm talking about a lot of grains. You're talking about drinking a multivitamin. It fills the nutritional gaps in your diet, increases energy, focus. Do you need all that stuff? Yeah, you do. Athletic all right. Greens. And listen, right now, Athletic Greens is doubling down and supporting your immune system. All right. During the winter months, even though it's the summer, we still want you to be it. healthy. They're offering you guys free one year supply of vitamin D. Do Theo it. loves that D. I do not. Get five free travel packs with your first purchase when you go to athleticgreens.com slash KATS. Join the health experts, athletes, comics, podcasters go-getters around the world who make a daily commitment to their health every day. Visit athleticgreens.com slash K-A-T-S and get your free year supply of that D. Smoke my dick. <laughs> These days, look, I've realized that this, I, uh, I'm not good at being an employee and I also work for myself. You want to so. be a boss. I also work for myself, man. I nightmare. work for myself, and it's a lot of work. Yep. That's where helium comes in, man. Imagine the freedom of being your own boss like me and Theo. Yeah, we're exhausted, stressed out all the time. <laughs> Theo's looking older, gaining weight. Not a big deal. <laughs> Running a business. That's a lot of things, bro. Yep. Running a business that best suits your lifestyle and schedule. Helium 10 wants to tell you how to embark on a smart career where you call the shots. Right. Daddy? Start your own Amazon business. The best way to work from home and be your own boss is by becoming an Amazon seller. It's not just an online mm -mm. superstore. Amazon is not that. It's actually a marketplace that connects buyers and sellers. And anyone can become a seller thanks to fulfillment by Amazon or FBA and thanks to Helium 10 software. Helium 10 is an all-in-one software suite designed to help people just like you launch, just like you. build, and manage a profitable business on Amazon. It's business in a box. Helium 10 has been used by over 1 million people worldwide. Wide, wide. No invention or big idea required. Helium 10 will find you the right product to sell and handle so many other aspects of your business. It's basically just providing an infrastructure that you're going to need to get it done. The startup costs for launching a business on Amazon are much smaller than you think, a fraction. Yeah, man, handle these nuts. Be a boss. Work when you want to work from whenever you want to work. Take advantage of this deal. That's Helium right. 10. Get 50% off your first month of Helium 10 Platinum account when you go to helium10.com slash K-A-T-S. That's H-E-L-I-U-M-1-0 dot com slash K-A-T-S. Don't wait to get 50% off your first month. Go to helium10.com slash cats. Be a boss. Uh, this guy's got a debate club. Uh, okay. it, was, it was actually came in before the announcement of Tyson Fury having COVID, though. But Ooh, I didn't even know that. What's up, guys? Been a fan for a long time. My name's Mike from Wisconsin, Great and show. I got a debate club for you guys. Which fight are you more excited for, the Wilder fight or the Hasbula fight? I gotta go with Hezbula just because he's the cutest little thing you know I've who seen. Is? I don't. Uh, he's the little Khabib. All he's like, my he's days. Like a, close. He's like 18, but he has like a. He's condition. the cutest thing I've ever seen. I, he's cute. I would say. And uh, he sits on Khabib. Hold lap his hand. Oh, but but oh, so he's Love joking. Who's Hezbula fighting then? He's uh, fighting another kid with the same condition. But he's oh, but oh, he's no, like no. Like One more thing, I want to shout out Milwaukee and the Bucks. Hopefully, the playoffs are still going on when this airs. Uh, Go and Suns and Six. Is he holding his hand? But this is a question. Uh, this is a syndrome, right? They're not children. No. Yeah. He's, he's like 18, right? But he's like the hottest thing in MMA social media because when he first started having videos go viral, people thought he was a child. And then and he, he was with. Can he legitimately fight though? No. 
Like it's it's you Absol- can't right? absolutely not. He's no. just like I can do, it. but I don't think so. I mean, they're from Dagestan, so it's it's fucking what they do. But right. yeah, they were beefing over like acting not right during Ramadan, and someone's trying to put a fight on between those two. Yeah, and Khabib, Khabib, what country? That's is Khabib not Khabib, from right again? there, D- uh, Dagestan. Dag, because he's from the country. I watched an HBO thing where like their leader. Oh, it's like if so you're gay, they, you, you, they kill you. That's the thing is like it's like how come people don't talk about that country? Why is it always like the United States? Well, when what are you like, gonna do though? Yeah, what do you mean? What, 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 that's what they do over there. That's just what like, they we do. We can't control that. No, but my it's point, like go to Russia and tell them to be cool to the journalists. Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, Rosman Kadriov. Kod- he has his own MMA league. Like it, it, it's a tough. Would you go fight in that league or no? Nah, absolutely not. No, right? <laughs> no. Even I'm too gay for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my god, my jeans are too tight. You know, dude, like, they would execute me, man. I know that because those guys, like, they're like the best fighters though, because they really grow they're up. Take over MMA, yeah. Because they grow up they in grow the up shit. doing it. Yeah, they grow up wrestling at like two, right? Like grizzly bears and shit. Yeah, dude. I mean, no, they're gonna take over. I watch this Hasbullah fight though. Where can I get it? Over Wilder Fury though? No, I like. Well, yeah. Well, well, first of all, I didn't even know Fury had COVID. Is he out? Is the fight out? Yeah, it's now? Postponed, postponed to October. I, Does the, he have COVID? COVID? He just popped. His positive. team has COVID, and he has COVID. Like he's legitimately That's what they sick. say a lot. But a lot of fighters, and I'm not saying this, but a lot of fighters are saying that to give him more time. Like, Interesting. I think that, you know what I'm saying? Papa COVID. Because like, he hasn't looked great in the in the post in the press conferences and stuff. So. If you want more time, she's like, oh, we all test positive, dude. Dude, Wilder yeah. is one of those guys, though. Like, he can, like, legitimately kill someone in the ring. If, like, he. Like, you ever seen him and Fury fight the two times? Yeah. That's yeah. the one Fury got, like, the Undertaker when you yep. thought he was popped unconscious. Up. And popped yep. up. And then the second time, beat the shit out of him. But, Fury, but, I mean, getting punched in the face by Dante Wilder would has to really suck. Insane. Yeah. It has to really I, suck. The, the better question, you can add that kid into Hasbula, but the better question would be are you more excited for Fury Wilder or Woodley? Uh, Jake Paul. Ooh, yeah, Woodley, Jake Paul. Uh, yeah. See the press conference? I didn't. Was it good? <laughs> yeah. It's just tough. But, but <laughs> I've heard boxing people, like, you know, boxing professionals say that Jake Paul can actually His box. skills, yeah. They His say skills. he actually has, like, legitimate skills. We'll really find out against Woodley. Woodley can fucking fight. Woodley's Woodley, a real, Woodley, real boxer. Woodley, yes. Yeah. He's been boxing. Yeah. At wild card since 2006. He's a born six. boxer. Like, he's a professional. Born wrestler, but yeah. Born, but, but, um, but what could He's a Jake, Hall of Famer. But, like, okay. But, like, Jake Paul can box. But, like, could Jake Paul fight a for real professional boxer? No. Uh, That's no. just not, not... Not yet. But also, who knows? he's just not, like, in, in a... In, you give him more time, he could. What he's doing at his level right now is impressive. No, I'm very impressed by him, too. But, again, not... I, I think the Woodley fight's going to be tough for him. So, if you put, like, Jake Paul against, like, Ryan Garcia, he'd get hurt bad. Very bad, yes. Ryan Garcia would hurt him very badly. Destroy him. Yeah, yeah. got it. But, but he only has three fights. But is it a weight class thing, too? Like, like you know... Not what? at that level. Not at that... At that level, it's just, like, you're, if you're a better boxer, you're a better boxer. Especially Ryan Garcia is young and can fucking box, dude. Right. Like, that's what he does. Right. But like, let's. It, it's like saying, how would Jake Paul do opening up for you? Okay, but let me say this. Let me say this. You know what I'm saying? How would like, Jake Paul do opening up for you? Yeah. Imagine he fucking blew you off the stage. <laughs> oh my god, I would be dying in the back. Nothing's funnier to a comic than when another comic just fucking goes out there and eats one. They all eat shit. Yeah, well, dude, literally, as a comic, like bombs. Yeah, yeah, bombs. Well, or we're all laughing in the back, dude. There, there, I there, there couldn't be anything worse. I, oh. It, Dude, getting when, knocked out is fucking terrible and it's embarrassing. No, but, but bombing on it sucks when you know you're bombing. Yes. You still have like if especially if it's your show, you have an yeah. hour and you're twenty minutes in and oh, it's yeah. eating dick. Dude, you're or, like I got forty more oh minutes God, of dude. this. Or like in New York when you sit in the back of the comedy cellar and it's like somebody's just you know, you're just sitting there watching going next to somebody starts eating it and you can just tell they just start to sweat and you just know their back is just getting hotter and hotter and they're like, So where are you from? <laughs> they it, was weird to, I was, it was weird today. I'm like, You're fucking <laughs> bombing, you stink. <laughs> Your asshole's like this. Oh dude. I um You wanna quit. Let me ask you this though, as in, because because boxing is one thing, but weight wise is a big thing in MMA. Like, are you confident right now? Because just you outweigh him so much. Like, you, let's say Conor McGregor healthy, you would just beat the piss out of Conor McGregar. Me? Because you I, outweigh him by so many pounds. Yeah, but I also fought professional at a high level. But that's what I'm saying. But you haven't fought at in a, in a few years. Doesn't matter. I'm a black belt in jiu jitsu. I'll take him down and choke him out. 
Ooh, <laughs> who's horny? <Yeah. laughs> um, Send that clip to your girl. Yeah. <laughs> so <that'd be laughs> he's, he's a black man in jujitsu. He used to fight professionally. Here's the homeless pimp <laughs> showing up with corduroys and New Balances on, dude. Um, and, and Connor now has a broken leg, so I think uh, yeah, I think you, he's. No, I'm saying if Connor was healthy, because because with boxing. Like first of all, like you know, because like like weight classes, like like let's say like in boxing, like Tyson Fury versus Canelo, Canelo's gonna get killed. Yes, because Tyson just, Fury's the best, of the best at heavyweight and has all the skills. As Canelo a can beat up a low level professional heavyweight for sure. For sure. Okay. Okay. I'm just I wasn't sure. But not like a professional heavyweight, like um, middle of the road middleweight, yeah. or I'm sorry, heavyweight. No. Right. Got it. Who would you have for Jake Paul, Conor McGregor? Who do you think would win that boxing match? Dude, with those headphones on, you look like Warren from Something About Mary. <laughs> I thought you were going to go yeah, Franks baseball. and Beads. Franks and Beads. Franks and Beads. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was your question? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Riri. <laughs> those are spot on. <laughs> Did he bring those or are those ours? Dude, they're, they're, they're mine. Oh, what are you doing? Do you the want to baseball? Beat by Dre's? <laughs> Did you want a baseball? <laughs> Frank and Beads. Frank and Beads. Uh, this what's guy's. This, what's this handsome devil? Dude, like? this looks like me if I was in the Confederacy. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the homeless pimp has got a king shit and a together. Sting. Yeah. It's Aaron from Lincoln, Nebraska. I got a king and her stinging for you guys. Chewies. You don't know what it is. You pour the beer in the shoe, and you spit in it and chug it. Ooh. Personally, not a fan, but wanted to see what you guys think. I'll let this guy show you how to do it. Chin. Gang, gang, buzz, Ooh, bring buzz. Up, it's on your Instagram. Bring up the – I did a shoey. Uh, I was going to say the somebody guy, did the a guy shoey. all shoeys. Uh, fucking uh, tied to a vase. I did it. I did – he came on my show, and we did a shoey. And he, so you lost a bet or something, right? No, I just did it because it's tied to a Voss. I fucking love the dude, and he's oh. known for shoeys. So I was like, I'll do a shoey with you. And I had a brand new shoe that Reebok sent. I'm like, let's use this on Warren's shoe. So you pour. What, I didn't know this. I thought you just poured the beer in the shoe and drink it. Well, you don't. Everybody has to fucking spit in it. Oh. And they just don't spit. They fucking spit. Dude. So you have to drink these dudes spit? Yeah, like loogies, dude. Look at this. Oh man. That's oh, so he I'm does it. We all kind of spit in it. You better take a knee. <laughs> take the knee for it. <sighs> what is wrong with people? It? Like, what's the point <laughs> of adding the spit? I told you don't like IPA. It's a bonding thing. I told you. Drinking it out of a dirty shoe. Is that that <laughs> you don't get this. Patreon.com says Christy comedy. You didn't spit in it. All right. <laughs> oh, you drink your own spit. Go. It's all three of us spit. I got shows. Go hard, go hard. Go hard. Do you drink a little? Do I say anything? No, Let's yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's, how gross is it? It's disgusting. Oh, God. Shoe oh, you did this years ago? Yes. Mm. Oh, my God, dude. How to drink a shoey. Here's so a Cats fan. This was just this Saturday. Because he won. The guy, Tai Tuivasa, the guy Brenda did it with, was on the card with Tom. This is, he's known for this. How did he think of this? What's the point of spitting what they it? Doing, uh, New, New Zealand. Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. It's okay, he's from thing. New Zealand. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Anybody want to try one? I'll do one. No, I can't do it. I can't. No, I, I have can't. O'Duels. I can't. I can't. Just I can't. It's, it's fair. It's, no, no. no. <laughs> I can't. I would, dude. I can't. I genuinely can't. Not Why? this time. Because I can't uh, with spit and all that. I just can't do it. I would. I. I genuinely. If I was doing Mario Lopez, <laughs> I would have did it. Do but I can't do it. Do I can't. It. I can't. <laughs> I can't no because I can't fuck up my shirt. I dude, I got Mario Lopez. I can't do it. There's no way I can't. I can't trick the spit. Also, I can't do it. I also um I, I have COVID. <laughs> you got the Delta. Off. I have the Delta variant. I have COVID. The pimp's not vaccinated. Um, whoa. Real beer or old duels? A real beer. Oof, dude. Oh, what? Come God, on, whose can... shoes did you these steal are... from a lunch lady? <laughs> no, dude. These dude, are... these things are a piece of shit. No, dude. I was gonna say, dude. Size yeah, dude. Dude, these are Nick's new shoes. <laughs> they didn't have Velcro, so I figured I'd give them to the show. Let me get the laces out of there. Go ahead. Anybody, anybody want to step up and do it with them? Homeless pimp, chin. Of course oh. I do. Nah. <laughs> Homeless pimp. Freaky fuck. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Are you sure? All right, come fine, on. I'll do it. Nah, dude, I'm not. I dead. knew you'd come around. All right, fine, I'll do it. I'll yes. let you guys spit in my mouth. Fine, I'll freaking do it. Absolutely. There we go. Nick, wow, these are pretty sweet. I mean, 
This is amazing, dude. Oh my god. I feel like Could I've you imagine? I've been out of beer in years. Really? No. What do you drink? Whiskey. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whiskey, dude. All right. So now what? Now what? Do uh, spit it. We drink them. You have to spit in it though? That's the You're point of it? Spin yeah, yeah, man. I'll spit my own spit. Spit in your own since yeah, we're all in separate rooms. Uh, COVID. Yeah, COVID. Mm. Cheers, boys. A Cheers. Lot of Absolutely, man. Bubbles. Here it is. Cheers. Ready to go? Shoot. Oh, what the fuck is this, dude? Give me another shoe! <laughs> dude. Oh, Give me lit for Mario Lopez. Dude, I'm fucking trying to fuck him. Chris is never going to want to come in the show again. We make him fucking do something. You made, me, you made me drink out of a shoe. You made me eat the Asian fish. Suck the fish dick. Fish. Yeah, dude. That fish was disgusting. Disgusting, fish. dude. Disgusting. That shoe. Yeah, I mean, drinking out of that shoe it actually wasn't gross. the worst thing. Size no. 10? It's a clean shoe. You're supposed to do it with your shoe, but, you know. There was something <laughs> in my shoe. You used uh, your own shoe? No, there was something in my shoe. Oh, that's hilarious. There's something in your shoe? Yeah, it fell in my mouth. I had to spit it out. What, what was, was it? it? Like something that black and long. <laughs> Ugh. Black and long chin. Where are you? Where are you coming from? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Which shoe did you get? I don't know what's going on? Chin. I oh man. Too. All right, we did shoeies. That was nice. That was nice. I it, dude, honestly, dude. Honestly, I two hours of sleep. That felt nice. Every time I have a beer before like 10 a.m., I love it so much. Like I genuinely think I am an alcoholic. I'm just keeping it at bay. Like I'm genuinely keeping it at bay with oh, I'm sweets. I'm an addict. I right. eat because I I get addicted to sweets. I eat sweets and bad food. But if I start to get in shape and eliminate those, I think I might go for the brewskis. I'm with you. Yeah, dude. In the well, pandemic, I was a straight up bona fide alcoholic. Honey, why did you only sleep two hours though? What's going on? Couldn't dad? sleep, dad. Why? Just couldn't. You're stressed. Yes. Because well, the, it's just anxiety from the studio shit. From the new studio. Yeah. What was a bad move? I don't think so. I think it'll work out. <laughs> 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 and just sit there and say nothing. It was yeah. a bad. It was a bad move. And then so what nothing. do we got over here, Nick? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this guy's got uh, King Eater's thing for us. Uh, I think you guys can relate. Dude, to. this guy. Yeah, this guy. I mean, he looks like shit. I mean, he just looks like he was looting. What's up, Brennan and Theo, Cat, Chappelle. He looks like a cop. Nick. He does. Also from Wisconsin. He looks like he turns off the Got body cam when he farts. <laughs> Have little ones. Gotta watch shapes all day long. Oh, but yeah. it's worth it because look at how cute this kid is. Jack, can you say one thing for me? Ding. Oh gang, gang, God. buzz, buzz. Ding, ding, buzz, buzz. Right so up, cute. brother. Hilarious. Imagine how funny would that be. What? Can you say one thing for me? He just was like, Trump 2024. <laughs> or, or he was like, He's all, no, 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 yeah, no. Drops an N-bomb. He's like, no, 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 no. edit this. That kid, yeah, dude, I get that. Well, you know, I mean, all the little kid stuff we got to watch. I mean, that's cute. You know what? Yeah. My, my kid, they, they, I mean, uh, my son, Boston, who's one and a half, he's into like uh, the fucking trucks, like anything with yeah. trucks. Yeah. But uh, really, his number one thing is uh, like Doja Cat music videos. He loves really? Doja Cat. Yeah. Interesting. I always knuckle him up. I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> he like, yeah. It might be bad parenting, but whatever. Yeah, but my kids, my kid, I know, dude, my kid is obsessed with watching. Well, she was. Now she's a little older, but she was obsessed with watching cartoons on YouTube in Russian. She would watch them in yes. Russian all the time. Yeah, my son Tiger will watch it in fucking Chinese. Yeah, she just, I think because they think like the language is like so different than ours and they think it's like funny. They think it's like a made up language. Yeah. Or something, which it is because the only real language is America. <laughs> <laughs> have, 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 you, have you, have you gone on, yeah, hashtag America. Uh, hashtag America. Ha, have you started doing like uh, parent dates, like daddy dates? Because your daughter play what? with somebody's kid and then yeah. the parents come over. Yeah. It's yep. like a blind date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yep. a blind date of, you have to of do that. dads. Oh, yeah, dude. No, I know. Weird, like, dude. But I'm moving. There's random strangers in your house. Yeah, and you just, just have to listen you, to some uh, dude, fucking dad like, startup. Oh, and then you just, you know, he's like, listen to him. He's like, are you going to put this in your skit? No, yeah. stupid. Shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. I'm not going to put it in my skit. Or go, that's funny. Use that on stage. I'm like, thanks, oh, dude. <laughs> are you going to use that on stage? Yeah. Is that baseball? what you're gonna do? <laughs> Shut up, dude. Yeah, pitch me your app again. I wanna fucking drown you in my toilet bowl with your dumb kid who looks like he's right on the brink of autism. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy's got a kick in his Oh my this god. Guy dude, this has guy a felony. I was gonna say, dude, this guy does not have a home. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, motherfuckers? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. I love this guy. Yes. <laughs> 
going on, motherfuckers? <laughs> Got a king and her stinging for you. Acting confident when deep down you're really just a scared beta that needs a good friend. All right, hit me back. <laughs> okay, so he was looking in the mirror. Hey, so uh, give me another Heineken. Yeah. Oh, wow. Daddy's. Woo. Danny has more shows today. Daddy's. Wow. <laughs> Honey, bunny. <laughs> Have you had breakfast, bud? No. Oh, my God. I don't gracious. eat breakfast. Are we skipping the gym today? Well, I have to. We're starting so early. <laughs> oh, my God. What is Chappelle going to think? Uh, he's all right. He has a head cold. Oh, does he have a head cold? Yeah. Is it a head COVID? No. You he sure? Co- no. He the, the Delta. Chin, if you ne- end up not being able to. I'm good, brother. Thank you. I got to be kid. ready for Mario Lopez. <laughs> Thanks, we'll be dude. good. I'm used to this. I'm um, Heineken forever. Absolutely, dude. I used to get bombed on firing the kid off whiskey. Good. <laughs> dude. Yeah, I, I know. I got to stop. We've been drinking too much. Me and Pimp been going out drinking almost every night. Really? At the Garland Hotel. Just Wait, Will you ripped. drink some whiskey with me on Saturday shows? Yes. I'll bring oh, yeah. My, I'll bring the Thick Tiger whiskey. Hey, what's up, King and the Sting? Nate out here from Washington State. I got a debate clip for you guys. So, if you guys rather get taste, or you rather get pepper spray. Oof. I've had to do both. I had to get certified with both for my department. Yeah, he's a cop, for uh, sure. The taser's not bad. It's five seconds of riding the lining. Yeah. Once it's done, it's done. And pepper spray, that burns like no other. It's the worst for me. He's yeah. definitely, he's he's definitely a cop. Oh, yeah. He so definitely let some of those people into the, the Capitol riot. 100%. He uh-huh. definitely raided the Capitol, but went to the kitchen first. Listen, I got to be honest with you. You know, the the, the the Capitol storming thing, it was one of those things where, like, I had a good time. You know, like, it was <laughs> – I was – the media makes it look like one thing, but we were just there for our country yep. doing another thing. America. You know? And it's like – I know people get on everybody like, oh, you stormed the Capitol. It's like, I didn't storm the Capitol. Was I there in Washington, D.C. on that date? with other friends of mine who you know think that we have a problem in this country yes i was yeah but i didn't go inside the capitol i did go inside the capitol but the doors <laughs> were open you know what they I mean? let you in they let me you in. basically went on a tour of the capitol i went on a tour of the ca- i was going you first. just went to the lunchroom first i was jogging that morning and then all of a sudden i said who are these people maybe there's a flea market and then i went and yes did i have an a uh, weapon and q flag and all that things but you it the the country the country's been in disarray since biden's been president it's a very violent time so i have to stay strapped <laughs> and, stay strapped yeah and i did have a decent time at the uh at the at the Capitol. if that is your thing it did look fun <laughs> it was fun <laughs> right Until yeah the lady got shot in the window but before that it was can you imagine time. i got two can words you imagine for you, Nick? being that fucking lady out of all the people you were the one dumbass who got shot in the fucking neck i know dude well, and how about the guy she gets shot they go oh shit and then just keep going keep going well, false flag. That's all I'll say. I think I fucked up Chris's joke by making it too dark. No, no, <laughs> Nick, you can never make it too dark for me. <laughs> what, what, that's good to know. What are the two words that you have for me? You said you got two words for me. That was false flag. Oh, I gotcha. was saying false flag. I got uh, two words for you, false pe- flag. Pepper spray or uh, taser? You mm-hmm. ever been pepper sprayed? I've never been pepper sprayed. It's the worst. You I've had Jasmine has thrown adobo in my face. <laughs> what? You guys you want to try it? it? I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like taser or pepper spray? <laughs> no, no I, got, I got hit in the... I got hit in the face with a piece of chicken from Jasmine that had like adobo and sassone on it, and that was in my eyes. <laughs> like that, a little sriracha, or dude. Some shit? That hurt like a Puerto Rican spicy Oof. chicken to the face because I, I was I was DMing people I wasn't supposed to DM. Yeah, I've, I've been there. So I got that I got that in the eyes. I got that in the eyes bad, and that I would think I'm sure pepper spray is even worse. But a taser kind of actually in a way looks like a fun little way to come. I, I mean, don't know. You ever seen when they tase the cops and they like shit their pants? But my point is, is like, I'd rather have that. I'd rather go through that like a quick, violent shake where you shit your pants and maybe come. Pepper spray is an all-day thing. That's Even what the I'm next saying. Day, dude, my dad, uh, we're at my grandpa's house. Rest in peace. We're at my grandpa's house. My dad goes, oh, look, pepper spray. He goes, I wonder if the thing still works. And me and my brother, I'm like eight. We're standing behind my dad. He goes, all right, guys, stand back. But there's a wind. And he goes, let's see if it works. And he sprays it. And, of course, it fucking works, dad. And it fucking sprays out like this thick fog Oof. of pepper spray. Sprays out, and the wind goes Cool story. Uh, Boom. Oh, right in the oh, face. Oh. To, was, to you or to your dad? To me. I was eight. <coughs> what did it feel Pepper, like? Oh, dude. Dude. Really? Awful. My dad, for whatever reason, was pouring milk over my eyes. Milk? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's like some somehow the the uh it's the basic. cure for that. Uh, it battles the acidity. It oh. fucking That's why they take it with hot wings and shit. It hurts so bad. Got it. Hot wings. I'm gonna go taser all day. Yeah, I would go taser all day. I would go taser. Taser all day. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, want to. So, get so you know, my father-in-law is a cop for thirty years. 
he was saying there's certain people like what a pig. Yeah, especially <laughs> especially bigger dudes <laughs> that the taser doesn't work. What do you mean? Some people, it's it's for whatever reason the taser <clears throat> just, like they're too jacked. Yeah, they might be too jacked or. For whatever reason, their body it doesn't work for them like it does on. So other it people. does genuinely nothing. It does to them. not work on them. So he's like a, a big dude will be running him. They hit him with a taser, and he's just like laughing, pulling it off. Dude, if they're you're a cop. You're shitting your pants. There, I remember. If it looks like the fucking mountain from Game of Thrones. Yeah, and the taser doesn't work. Dude, I read this book called The Nazi Symbiosis. It was about like why, how the dude. It's a little light reading. <laughs> um, Take it, was, it easy, Papa. It was, but it was about how the Nazis <clears throat> became the Nazis and what their mindset was with like the Holocaust and all that. And one of the parts of the thing in the Holocaust, what they would do is they figured out the Nazi scientists figured out, obviously through torture and horrible things, that the thing that gets like excreted, secreted from like your brain is substance P or something like that when you call when it causes pain. So they were trying to make like eliminate substance P and like do tests on their Nazi soldiers to like remove substance P and see if they would feel no oh, pain wow. to make like the, and it was like, a, and I think they got relatively close and then the war ended, which is wild, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It was like, I, I was like, so that's a thing, but there are some people in this world that have very, very low levels of substance P, which causes pain. And they like feel like almost no pain. And, and I, Oprah used to have like these kids on and they touched the stove and they yeah. Yeah. they're burning. That's a problem. Substance P is, is, is a, is a big thing. And actually, actually in, the not the Nazi symbiosis book, but when I did like further research about substance P, I forgot the article. But a lot of uh, fighters have low levels. I bet you have lower levels of substance P than the rest of us. Well, what's weird is like my girl was opening up whatever a fucking can of tamales or something, cut her finger on it, and so because stereotypical. I'm, yeah, right, I hate to say <laughs> yeah. it, but it is yeah. what it is. She was like, yeah. she really was opening up a can of fucking uh, fucking hot peppers, and the can like cut her finger, like sliced it. But I think because I'm so conditioned to like, I see s horrible shit sure. from fighting or whatever videos I watch on World Star Hip Hop. I'm so like, just conditioned to it. She's freaking out. I don't go to the emergency room. I'm like, no, not a fucking band aid on it, man. Yeah, like, and get you, over it. You just knew. Yeah, but it's, you know. Yeah, it's just she's like, know, shut up. Yeah, come on, dude. One time, this was like a a year ago, right before Jasmine got uh, pregnant with our. Second daughter, she literally, dude, I mean, I'm talking about it was done like a full pot with water of tortellini, like full pot done. Like she was going to pour it into the thing fully as hot as it can be to drain it, bro. The, le the, the handle broke off the pot. It spilled all over her feet, barefoot feet, dude. She like, it was literally one of like everywhere. She like fell to the Just floor, Freddy Krueger feet, bro. Now. And was screaming, screaming oh, in dude. Dude, screaming in pain. I know, dude, screaming in pain. And she literally, like, still to this day, is so mad at me. Because when that happened, I, like, rushed to her aid. But I had to finish a fire tweet that I had first. <laughs> I was literally, <laughs> I swear to God, in the middle of tweeting something that, like, I thought was, like, really funny. And I, like, literally, like, and then, like, got to her eventually. But still to this day, she's like, what the fuck? Like, I can't believe you didn't immediately run to me. I'm like... Babe, like you got to tweet at certain times, this algorithm <laughs> stuff. Yeah. And but, dude, but but it's crazy because she literally just drank a bottle of wine. She was took, good. Took four Advil and just fucking sat there. And it was, dude, her feet were blistering up, but just took it. I would have went to the emergency room. I would have been like dead on the floor. But I think from the pain of childbirth. That's what I was gonna say. They have so, a higher pain tolerance. Like if you ever to hear a girl be like, oh yeah, tattoos don't really hurt. I like them. Like you're insane, dude. When I just my, you know, my kid was just born three weeks ago, and I was, you know, there because she got the epidural. C section. She did the regular. No regular regular daddy -o, but she got the epidural which you know takes away some of the pain but you still feel excruciating pain but her leg went dead from the epidural which sure. happens sometimes so i had to hold her leg and be there and the doctor was like yo you have to like be in position to like help and like they had to do a quick course like what you need to do so i was like in the position you almost to watch it all bro literally bro the doctor's hands were in Jasmine like that. Yeah. The, like the, that, the, dude. The, the openings. Well, I was there. like, yo, that's fucking stretchy. And I was like, are you feeling this? She was like, what do you fucking think? Yeah. I was like, I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I mean, I was like watching a childbirth 
It's like it's a different. It's so intense. It is so intense. You don't really. It's it's it, it's very barbaric. It's barbaric, and then it's, it's weird. Barbaric. Like having a little little baby. It's so strange because it's like every kid's ugly when they come up. Oh yeah, no, dude, my, dude. My daughter every literally she was ugly. born. She looked like an old Chinese man. Now she looks like a, a young Ukrainian woman. It's very. So it's they, just, they go through these phases, and she looks like different people every day. Every day. I'm like, who is this kid? Yep. Like I, I would be confident if you put my baby in the like nursery at like day five. I would not know which one my kid is. No, I would not, have no idea what my kid looks not like because they change. But it's weird because like, you know, she's laying like when I. Look at her, talk to her, like FaceTime with her now. If I've been away for a couple of weeks, it's like couple she weeks. like her. Bri- well, yeah, dude. Well, I had to go away last week and I'll be away for another week. Cause it's fucking true TV show. Um, but but <laughs> I know, dude, just go to ChristyComedy.com. Go support my live stand updates. Most of them are sold out. What can you do? Um, <laughs> but go check to see if I'm coming to your city. Nashville, uh, October. Foxwoods Theater, Foxwoods, Connecticut, October 23rd. Foxwoods is a tough one. Philadelphia. We got all that. Waukegan, Illinois, and all these other ones. Go check it out. <laughs> Hot oh, spots. Miami, Florida. Just put that on sale. Danny Miami Improv. Improv. Another big one, baby. Miami da- Improv? Dania Improv. Never heard of it. Five hundo seats, though. Four shows. What? What can you do? <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Dania Improv. Dania Point. D-A-N-I-A. Why don't you go to Miami Improv? Because Dania Improv offered Poppy a little bit more money in seats. How far and, is that from Tampa? And also, Miami Improv didn't offer me anything. <laughs> um, That's the big How far is it from where, baby? Tampa. T- Tampa. Tampa. By the way, I'm doing the Tampa Theater January 2022. Um, 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 Tampa from Miami is pretty far. Oh, okay. It's far. It's oh. on the other side. Dania now. Improv is in between Miami and uh, Fort Lauderdale. It's in between. I was oh. just thinking you should have your cats. And our, West our Palm new Beach. cats athlete come out. Ooh. Oh, oh, the Tampa yeah. kid. Would the cats athlete like to Dude, come out? I did, last time I was at Miami Improv, I was working the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather fight. I got done with my work with Showtime. I was like, I need to get on stage. So I called Miami Improv, super close with them. I go, hey, just looking for like 10 minutes. I, sh- I got to get on stage while I'm here. Like, cool. But it's Mrs. Pat's weekend. Let me. Ask I love Mrs. Pat. Mrs. Pat. I don't know Mrs. Pat. She's cool. But they yeah. asked her, and she's like, oh, yeah, I know Brendan from Rogan and yeah, Chrysler. Yeah, yeah. yeah, tell him he can do 10 minutes. Yeah. I didn't realize she's basically the Joey Diaz of females. Oh, yeah. All black crowd. Oh, yeah. So I go, I go out there. It goes well. I get Then I get out. I'm walking back. She's so nice. Love her. So talented. So nice. She's great before the show. I walk back. She, she gets on stage after me. Roast the fuck out of me for being white. I love it. <laughs> she goes, y'all laughing at that fucking white boy at my show? I'm like, what the Fuck, dude. I love too, like black people now. Like their definition of white is just getting bigger and bigger. Like he is not white, and he goes on stage as as the Big Brown tour, and it's just like he's like that white motherfucker. I'm like, no, no, dude, you don't know what white is. Okay, that is not white, dude. Nick's white is Velcro sneakers. <laughs> yeah, Nick's so white. Yeah. Nick is so white. Uh, this guy made a cool thing. He's a this guy's on cocaine. Theo, Brandon, Nick, Chin, my main man, Meatball. Meeple. I got a quick candy to sing it got for a you. shout out. Uggs yeah. for men. <laughs> well, those are dope as fuck. Those are fire. I those in the house. Drip those drip. are fire, yeah. Nothing like a little rat fur and some honey leather touching your bare ankles on a crisp 100 degree New Jersey morning. Let me know what y'all think. Gang, gang. Ugg, ugg. This guy's pushing drugs like for the it. cartels. Well, yeah, and he's from New Jersey. As soon as he said, as soon as he said meatball, I said this guy's from the East Coast. This guy's from <laughs> dude. The East here's Coast. the thing about Uggs. Obviously, they're super gay, right? But super Tom Brady, super gay. Tom Brady wears Uggs, so yeah. be, be fucking cool, man. I had a pair around the house. I had the loafers around the house. Even my son made fun of me, but yeah. I still rock them. When I say things are super gay. Like, I don't mean that in a negative way. It's like, it's just a fact it's super gay is being cool, but I mean, it's gay. Tom Brady's gay. I don't care. He yeah. wins all the Super Bowl, but he's, I mean, he's a gay kid. Yeah, sure. You know, I mean, he's just a gay You don't like man. Tom Brady. Of course, dude. I love gay people, but yeah. it's like, they're, yeah, dude, it's fully gay. Dude, you're like, you're gay. I'm legitimately gay. Yeah. Sure. You know, we're both gay. I mean, look, 100%. you're wearing white pants. Well, they're, they're, they're denim, but yeah. They're white. <laughs> you think they're white? They're like a, a cream. No, this is white. We got one more. Who's this? Dude, this guy, first of all. This kid is a proud boy. I was going to say, look at those traps, bud. (laughs) Yeah, traps for days, daddy. Look at that. Built like a stingray. He's one of those. Yeah, his hair looks good from this angle, but you can tell it's it's just hanging on. He's about (laughs) to go bald. (laughs) First team all German here. Theo, Brendan, I got a... Looks like Chris. Whoa. I wish I had that. Looks like me, dude. I wish Uh, I had that. I was just talking to my girl on the phone, and she said, she wipes front to back. But what? I got in an argument with her, and I say I went back to front. Girls have to wait. They have to do. Which which way is the real way? No, they have to. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Right? You have two buzz. sons. 
Yeah, but I'm a fucking smart human being, so I know women have to wipe the opposite way because of the bacteria. Right, the bacteria. Yeah, yeah. but I I didn't know that in the beginning. Oh, really? Yeah, because I wasn't sure. You're I stupid. literally I, well, I talk about it on stage, and I literally when the first one of the first days I was alone with my daughter when me and her mom split i she asked me to like wipe her in the bathroom but her mom would always do it and i didn't know which way to go and i had to tuck it back and figure it out yeah and i did but it's of course it's front to back because you don't want to get the poopy bacteria you don't want to get poopy in, in the in the poopoo yeah yeah but it happens anyway i mean i've cleaned more shit out of a vagina than like so you guys I, that's saying, what i do all day you guys are both back to front for wiping my ass yeah oh well, no I, i'm i'm uh i'm 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 uh no you go from the behind. You lean forward. And you go from and the I go up. Yeah, yeah. I I literally, but I don't even know if I do that. I just go straight up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, kinda, I go straight up. I don't U-tip? fuck around back. No, no. no. There. I literally, I I put tissue paper wrapper on I my put finger a lot back there. and I go like that and I clean oh, it you out. Do the swirl. I clean it out. I, I not me. I I get hard in there, almost like a like a spoon. I also <laughs> stand up fully straight when oh, I too. wipe my ass. Yeah, I don't me stay too. seated. Do you stay up? You stand up straight. I put my leg up on the, like the toilet seat to like really get in there. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Meatball. Oh, I have a squatty potty, potty, so I use you have that. a squatty. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I've it, never in my life. I've never in my life, and I never will in my life use a bidet. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care, dude. Have you ever used one though? No, but I don't. I, no, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't They're want water in nice, my ass, dude. But cold water in your asshole? Not cold. Especially those new like fancy bidets. It's warm water, dude. But my question to you is what but don't you do you feel like your asshole's cleaned out with just water spray? It's gonna be more clean. Especially the new ones. It like sprays it and it's warm, it like gets everything. Little bit day at the crib? No. My friends do though. Nice. That's it? That's it? Damn, that was quick. Well go to ChristyComedy.com. Yep. All, although it sounds like all your tickets are sold out. So. No, well they're still No, we, you said they were. We so. just earned up seats in Philly. <laughs> and at the Fox Foxwoods. Well, Foxy, the sec- first show is sold out. Second show, let's just say, please go to ChristyComedy.com <laughs> and buy some tickets October 23rd. Uh, I'm at HaHa's in L.A. First sets in L.A. this weekend, Friday, Saturday. Friday shows are the early show sold out. Second show has five tickets left. That will be me, Eric Griffin, and some other uh, friends. And then Saturday will be me and Chrissy D yes. at the HaHa ha in L.A. Tickets at ThickBoy.com or F-A-T-K-Z.com. And then end of the month, I'm in Tacoma, Washington, Tacoma Comedy Club. And then we got a bunch of other dates coming up. All right? Love you guys. Theo, we miss you. Chrissy D. Thank Thanks, you, baby. Sir. Always, always. Hell of a shoey. Love you guys. Brennan and Theo, fighter and weight. I got to go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think. I am in flow. Black Rifle Coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor. I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious. Brows are outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn. Hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brennan ate the queso and the queso Ritos. But everything's gonna be fine Ay, hate on me i do not mind Ay, theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times yeah, they sliding into my dms a couple of you tribe but couldn't beat them quit playing like nintendo ds you don't want the smoke like joey diaz uh, meaning y'all edible just got my eyebrows threaded and i'm feeling incredible yeah. brennan's son hit me up he said it's too loud in the club can you pick me up king and the sting Ay, king and the sting oh.